What is going on, bro? Uh oh, it's a fat guy. <laughs> and my character apparently is really scared of fat guys. Yeah, he's walking like a gorilla. It's like Dudley from the uh, Harry Potter movies when he has the fat suit on, and he's definitely the actor's not fat. <laughs> Hey, I don't have any cheeseburgers for you, okay? How's it going, folks? Welcome to Lost in Darkness, aka me last night at 4 in the morning in the pitch black dark trying to find the light switch in my bathroom and ending up stubbing my toe on a mirror. Thoughts and prayers for a speedy recovery. But seriously, no, this is a horror game that is heavily inspired by the Fears of Fathom series. If you couldn't tell by the font and color scheme of the title screen here, which is pretty cool because I really like the last game that they made, the one in the Firewatch Tower. You can check that video out on this channel. But I think that's enough gabbing. Let's do some gaming. Play. I should actually put on my headphones. Left mouse. Uh, okay, so we should actually press the button, eh? Darkness surrounds me like a suffocating cloak. <laughs> you and me both, brother. Its tendrils creeping into every corner of my mind. Fear, an unwelcome companion, grips my heart with icy fingers as I recount the events that led me here. It all began with a simple job, a task to uncover the mysteries hidden within the depths of the forest. My companion and I adventured into the unknown, seeking a truth that should have remained concealed. But as night fell, our weary body succumbed to the embrace of sleep. This is really good writing. When I awoke, the world around me had shifted. My companions were gone, vanished without a trace, leaving behind only whispers of their presence. Determined to unravel the mystery, I embarked on a desperate search, my footsteps echoing through, echoing through the silent forest. This is really good writing. I'm very impressed. I, Liam, a 27-year-old, am doing something, but it uh, skipped without me doing anything. Oh my god, be quiet. Wait, did that say 1620? Because that's 420, right? And uh, I am actually playing this on 420. So uh, happy green plant day. Okay, what do we got here? Anything to interact with? Ital Italy? That's backwards. That's odd. Um, well, this definitely looks like a Fears to Fathom game. What can we interact with? Not the tube. Which, can you even call a TV a tube anymore? Because it's no longer a CRT. We've got all flat screens now. I miss the old days. Actually, I don't. Those TVs were like 500 pounds. Ah, this is where I keep my 2D clothing. Gotta have that. I'm very bouncy when I walk. Got some pep to my step. Okay. Everything is left mouse button to interact. Is this... What, do we rent out like an Airbnb? I assume these are my buddy's rooms. They're not in here. Ah, and this is where I keep my 3D clothing. Very important to separate the two. This seems to be some kind of a uh, shared living space. And it's very quiet. It's kind of creepy. We are out in nature, right? Like, we're, we're, no birds chirping, no nothing. They always say, if you're hiking in the woods and you hear, like, all animal sounds stop, that's a bad sign. In fact, I think I made that comment in my last uh, video I made in, in uh, what was it, Fears of Fathom. Let's go. Oh, no, we're in, like, a neighborhood. I have an old car that is a classic right there this is a old killian b53 20g duh you guys couldn't pick that up i guess you're not car people all right um what exactly are we doing here i didn't get to read the last uh those are car keys that definitely don't go to that car i didn't get to read the last of the little uh pop up there uh should we should we leave am i done bobbing up and down in my house how about we go outside because that seems to be the main objective here can i just run out into the road can i go out here and just spin around like the end of scream <laughs> what are you waiting for exactly what are we waiting for why can we get some action here what is what is actually supposed to happen i must be missing something i'm sure we have to drive our car wait i can't get back up on the curb okay there we go we have to be driving the car somewhere genuine confusion overtook me i am liam 27 years old unfortunately being controlled by a 31 year old idiot i'm not the best at uh, knowing exactly what to do should we make breakfast oh my god i love breakfast so much it makes me excited to wake up every day just thinking about my eggs over easy oh we could open the fridge pizza um wait am i actually are we doing this how do i eat i want to eat pizza do i put the pizza down 
Oh, e eat the pizza. Okay. Oh, God. Why is that in every horror game? They have the nastiest eating sounds. Okay, we ate the pizza. Can we get this show on the road? Okay, perfect. The keys that definitely would never go to a car like this. All right, hot rod. Let's ride. Start the car. Wait, do I actually... I love that in horror games now, you can actually drive vehicles. Oh, this is my jam. All right, let's get going. Okay. <laughs> I love the steering wheel not moving at all. Ah, isn't it nice being in a suburban neighborhood with houses that are all exactly the same? Definitely not dystopian at all. With our super old car, nobody around, no ambient noises, absolutely nothing discerning about that. 6.53 p.m. Oh, airplane. It's a very quiet airplane. Oh, now I hear it. Whoa, I'm like an owl. I just fully turn around. Somebody's gonna appear. What, what was that? Oh, maybe it was a car. Okay. The world just ends right there, apparently. Uh, all right, we're just gonna ignore that and keep moving. Radio, where are you going? There we go. Okay, we only have one song. This is maddening. I think I'm in purgatory. Jeez! Okay, there's something weird with the audio. It felt like that was coming from behind me. That's why I turned around. With my owl head. Should we go talk to this guy? The road continued. I guess it's not super clear what we're supposed to be doing. I'm just gonna check this shed over here first before I talk to this guy that I'm definitely supposed to talk to. Whoa, his head just snapped directly at me. Henry Johnson. Hello, Liam. Do I continue or continue? I think I'll continue. This is your first day at this job. And do I know you? First of all, we do not bear any responsibility if something happens to you. Ah. Am I for <laughs> what is Let's roll with it. Screw it. I don't know if they told you. There is a living organism that we do not know anything about. A rare and a rare living organism. They tend to be living. And we are trying to search for it and catch it. We have one picture, but it is not that clear of this living creature. Okay. Where did the writing from the beginning of the game go? If you are a game creator, I will proofread your game. You had such a strong start. I will send it to you shortly. The work you will work. <laughs> And you will work it. May last for days, meaning you will sleep outside the home for several days. Before you begin your work, two people with the same job will come with you to help each other find this organism. Be careful and take care of yourself. Goodbye, Liam. I will now go consume batteries as I am a robot. Oh boy. Hello. Howdy, folks. Got yourself an old ass Ford something. I am very short. <laughs> that guy looks over at me and he's like, yeah, you are. All right. Well, uh, I guess that's it for this place. Unless that's my... F Those could be my friends, perhaps. Hey. Talk. Hello, Liam. You guys are very shiny. We will start our work now. We will go to the forest and start our work. All right. Our friends are robots, too. Have you prepared yourself? I just don't say anything. No. Yes, let's get started. Come on. Get in the car. All right, I guess we'll just leave my car here, which makes no sense at all. It's a very nice turn radius for a large truck like this. I'm very impressed. Don't be afraid if you see anything suspicious. What, like you two? You guys have like shiny, glistening bodies. Shut up. Oh, I couldn't even say that. Okay. This is great. 7.43 p.m. Is the time important? Besides it being... Whoa. This is like the effect when you're going crazy in amnesia. Find Alexander and kill him. Uh, guys. I guess that's my voice. Fellas. I'm getting all goopy with my vision. Where am I? Let's just follow these lampposts, yeah? Gamer senses engaged. <laughs> this is my gamer vision. <laughs> As I go through life, this is how I see the world. I just got gamer eyes. 
Okay, we got the car and somebody drunk as a skunk. What's up, buddy? Keys? Hi. Wow, that was a lot of sound effects I've heard so many times in horror games. Uh... It kind of took me out of it, I'm not gonna lie, that didn't scare me at all. Uh... Did you wake up? No, I'm still asleep. Uh, when will we arrive? We will stop here shortly. Okay, good. I'm glad that wasn't real because that was... Not a very... What are you holding on to, exactly? You're not grabbing the steering wheel. <laughs> is he just weird? He's like grabbing the center, like, portion of it where the horn is? We'll stop here, guys. Okay. Wow. Wow, we really are adventurers. Look at us. We'll camp here tonight. Liam brought the equipment, and let's prepare our tent. In the morning, we will complete our work. Okay. 11.57 p.m. It's almost midnight. Oh, this is cozy. Oh, we, we skipped the eating portion of our evening. All right, Owlhead still is engaged. Henry Johnson sent you a photo. You will be there at 7 o'clock. I'm on the way. Why does that look like the alien from Alien? This is the picture of the living being that I told you about. You don't have to specify that it's living, Henry. I can gather that much by it walking around like it is right now. That is literally the alien. My gamer vision wasn't engaged, so it could be something else. Otherwise, I would have known exactly what it was. And somehow we fell asleep. Okay. Space to get up. How do you fall asleep after seeing something like that? Can I grab this flashlight? No. Can I grab one of your Timu backpacks? Keys. Okay, we've got keys. Anything in here we need? Nope. We're just gonna drive away and leave our friends? <laughs> I'm fine with that. Alright. What? This game is so confusing right now. Did Mr. Sweater sabotage your car? Come on, baby. Work with me. See, this is why we shouldn't have left my car behind. Old Reliable wouldn't have given me this bullshit. Alright. Now is it flashlight time? No. Ooh, there is a crouch. Fascinating. Alright, um, well, I don't... By the tree cover, I'm assuming we can't go that direction, so let's go this way. With our very slow, bobbing movement. It's almost like we, like... <laughs> I'm trying to imagine somebody's... Somebody walking whose head would bob this much. That's insane. 2.34 p.m. Okay, so it's afternoon. Well, this isn't very scary. It's daytime. There's the road. So we don't know where our friends are. Car's not working. But we got a couple of feet and an owl head. I think we're gonna be okay. Escape to calling... Call... We're going to, to calling Henry Johnson now. <laughs> Wait, that's not a cell phone? Where did I get that from? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Terrific. Whoa. Well, why didn't we leave a... Why not leave a message? Unless this is another dream. Alright, well, can we get over this? No. Um. When do... When does the story beats end and when does the gameplay begin? That's the... That's the question with every horror game. It's like, you know, when do you actually start doing things? Um. Question is, when... And, and, when, and when does the alien show back up? That was pretty creepy. That was creepier than the hooded guy, which is the same hooded guy from Fear the Fathom. That is so loud. Oh my god. Old fashioned phone. Go, go, go. Hello. Liam. Who are you? I'm Henry Johnson. Where are you, man? I don't know. I think I'm lost. Oh, wait. I need to do the Henry Johnson voice. Why did you leave without your colleagues? I woke up today and they disappeared. What do you mean they disappeared? I don't know. I suddenly woke up and there was no one there. Liam. They haven't come out yet. They were waiting for you. What do you mean? When you came to see me yesterday and I told you that they would come, you went and did not go out with them. Okay, then. I... Whose Ford big-ass truck did I get in with, then? 
Uh, they basically haven't come out yet. What do you mean they've disappeared? I went with them yesterday, and we camped in the forest yesterday. <laughs> it's a little repetitive, a little redundant, no big deal. All right, call dropped. That's fine. That conversation wasn't really going anywhere. Henry is kind of a bore. Oh, look at that nice little RV from the uh, title screen. Okay, I can't. Step one would be usually to go up these steps, but uh, I guess the game doesn't want us to do that. We can go in here. What's that? What is going on, bro? Uh-oh. It's a fat guy. <laughs> and my character apparently is really scared of fat guys. Yeah, he's walking like a gorilla. It's like... Oh my god, it's like Dudley from the uh, Harry Potter movies. When he has the fat suit on and he's definitely... The actor's not fat. Hey, I don't have any cheeseburgers for you, okay? Should we just open it up? What? Why are we afraid of him? He's just a guy. All right. Um. Oh, find the keys. Okay. What did I mean? What would the, what would be the indication? That's what we needed to do. Are they in the turtle? Nope. I am stuck in the bathroom. What do we got here? Uh, this is a really hard to navigate RV. I'm getting stuck on invisible walls left and right. Keys, keys, keys. Are those the keys? Those look like them. Start they. <laughs> What's a they? I. Is that like alien for <laughs> something? Okay. Um. I, I think this is only derivative of Fears to Fathom and font of the title and slight graphical similarities. Otherwise. I, I don't know. Then again, I am extremely confused, which, in that last Fears to Fathom game, I was confused. Hello, car. Should I just ram into the cars? Let me guess. Can I use my owl vision to... Is Fat guy's definitely not in here, right? I'm so small, I can't even see over the seat. Well. This is peak gameplay here. That looks like Henry's car back there. Henry Johnson. A totally human man. Uh. Okay, it's more shiny people. And they have rifles. Do you guys work with the fat guy? Again with the door knocking. Alright, well, can we not back up? That To me, that seems like the best route. Hide. Ooh, okay, we'll hide. I don't... We, eventually, they would see me, right? Like, they... Where else would I have gone? Open the door or I will kill you. I am... Well, there's no need to call the police. I'll just be quiet. The police are already here. Continue. <laughs> Press space to up. Alright, I'm gonna up right now. Where's this music coming from? What? Hello? Wait, can you please exp Look, before we have this conversation, can you inject some actual sense in what is going on? Please? Please don't be super weird. Your hat is so big. Don't worry, everything is fine. We caught them. <laughs> How did you know to come here? Did I call the cops? I don't think I did. I didn't get out my freaking 90s wireless phone. Fortunately, you survived. They were carrying weapons. Okay. Oh, I see the one guy in the back seat. Are you Liam? Yes. You have been reported missing. I don't know. I got lost in the woods and a lot of things happened. I just want to go home. Don't worry. I am a little worried because nothing makes sense right now. 1.23 a.m. Huh. Okay, I'm back home in my completely normal house that is exactly the same as everybody else's and I have music playing in my head everything's fine we're just gonna go to bed or maybe we won't is that my car? car you've come back home for me good boy that's a good car wait that's not my car and it's that was some crazy drifting you did. You're also in my lawn. The HOA is going to be pissed off. Hello? Oh, it's Henry Johnson. Liam, 
thank God you are fine. What happened to you? Man, you suddenly disappeared and are not answering calls. A lot of trouble got me. <laughs> Once again, I will proofread your game. I will do it for free. Just leave a comment. I will check out your game. The most important thing is that you are fine. Continue. Come on, ride with me. We'll go to your car. But I'm already home, bro. Just bring my car to me. Have somebody bring it to me. Tow it to my house. I don't trust Henry here. All right. Now it's a YouTube vlog. Amidst the shadows, I found my truth. Though darkness threatened to consume me, I emerged stronger. The forest may hold its secrets, but I carry the light of survival within me. What did we? What did we survive besides some a fat guy <laughs> and some random ass dudes who somehow knocked over a tree? Nothing makes sense. I'm so confused. Um. Yeah, I. Uh, okay, that was interesting. Definitely not what I thought it would be. Very confusing at times in terms of what even is going on. I don't know why those guys pulled guns on me. I don't know why the fat guy messed with my buddy's truck. I don't even know if that sequence even happened according to Henry Johnson, AKA the robot. He talked about an organism. Was that the alien in the woods? Was it the fat guy? <laughs> I don't know. I'm very confused, but look, you gotta give a lot of leeway to games that, uh, you know, developers are perfecting their craft and you gotta be you know gentle with your uh, impressions so constructive criticism is maybe build up a little more to the horror explain a little bit more details are fine you know you weren't excessive with the dialogue which was nice a lot of horror games can be like that uh the graphics look okay i mean this is unity using a lot of assets that are either free or you know licensed which is totally fine that's what a lot of horror developers do i would really recommend having a storyboard when making games and having like an outline of how you want the game to go and have really focus on a beginning middle and end and a focus on building tension i really cannot stress that enough for horror games in general uh and once again let me prove for your game and i'll make sure that it flows good sounds good and makes sense so <laughs> please take me up on that some indie developer i mean it um but yeah like this video if you liked it leave a comment if you can explain what just happened <laughs> and uh subscribe of course if you want to see more videos by me but until the next one peace